Like, uh, it's December, right? It's almost the end of the world, right? From the Mayan calendar. Why do you believe somebody else's calendar, uh, entire world that is not Mayan, believe a Mayan calendar? Did you know that they have more than one calendar? They have several calendars. When one calendar ends, you know, they have so many calendars. They try to interpret something foreign to yourself that you cannot understand, that you try to interpret. Let's just go by Maya. What does Maya mean in Sanskrit? Maya means not that. Not that is implying the reflection of the moon on the water. Like, the water reflects the moon, which is true, right? But what do we, how do we interpret the moon? How do we interpret knowledge from our own understanding? If we have limited understanding, when we see the reflection of the moon, what do we believe about the moon? When we see the truth, what do we see or focus on, or what do we interpret as the truth? So that's called illusion. So if you look at the book, of uh, the, it's a fictional novel by Herman Hesse of the Buddha. His mother's name is Maya. The reason is his mother is illusion or not that. But he has to learn, right? He has his deep lessons. It's a fictional book. <laughs> Read the cover on the back. It says fiction. So that book, his mother is Maya, is illusion. So it means that you have to deepen your understanding about the world and the universe, patterns, rhythms, and cycles. You have to understand more than your own viewpoint. You have to understand multiple viewpoints. And you have to understand root meanings. You have to understand a lot. It means you have to do your homework. And then, as many viewpoints as you can see, it's like the blind man and the elephant. You still have maya but a much more understanding, a higher, a higher skill of maya, of illusion, of like, maybe there's more meaning to what I see, but what I see is so much more than last year, and the year before, and the year before that. But maya ultimately means not that or illusion. So mayan would mean a person who, right? I don't have to explain that, right? So mayan would also be a practice of seeking the truth, right? By expanding your perception, by developing and evolving your perception. Good way would be do this mantra and understand what you're saying when you say the mantra. So, so uh, a Mayan thing would imply a lot, right? It implies a lot of homework. Right? So if we had illusion or delusion or we have false belief about how the world works, which is now in this age called our map of the world. This is how the world works. This is what you got to do to survive. This is, this is what my experience is. So this is how the world works. You got to do it this way too, right? That the world doesn't work like that, right? The world does work a certain way when you're very open, when you have great integrity and great sincerity. The world works a certain way. When you have lineage, and you hold it and you pour it through. When you keep your heart open, even in conflict, even in discussion, even in uh, uh, battle, you keep your heart open, the world works a certain way, right? When you, when you have great integrity, great sincerity, the world works a certain way. But when you don't, the world works in all kinds of Mayan ways, all kinds of false ways. It doesn't really work like that, but you attract what you put out, right? And those worlds are going to end this year. So that's the world that's going to end. So you will look up the root word of Maya, and you'll get a pretty good hint of what, uh, what the end of the world is. But if you keep, uh, keep on with the false beliefs, you don't, you don't work on trying to be sincere. You don't try to work on being, uh, since, uh, have integrity. Then, uh, then you don't evolve, right? But then what happens to you when, uh, when everything starts to come true and everything starts coming sincere and everything starts coming like that, then you will be isolated, right? But not isolated because now everybody's isolating you. 
already you isolated yourself, now it's just becoming clear that you isolated yourself, right? It depends what side you choose. So it's very easy, very easy meaning. Just look at the root words. You know? Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. You see what resonates with your heart when you do your homework. But uh, maybe the world is not going to end. Depends how sincere you are, how much integrity you have, how much homework you did, how much work you did on yourself. It's not too late. The mind can move very fast. You have two weeks, right? Maybe one. <laughs> if you believe that some part of your mind, well, one small, narrow-minded part of your mind has been so stubborn, it has been so uh, pig-headed and so tenaciously holding on to this one thing and isolating itself, you only use 5% of your brain if you function like that, right? Most people only use that part. of What's happening to the other part of your brain that you don't use? Maybe it's already done all this work. Maybe all you have to do is get rid of that 5% and let it reside in you, let it fulfill you, let it change you. Because that's 90% of your brain, 95% of your brain. All you have to do is give up that 5% that thinks it's doing everything. You only have two weeks. You better believe what I say. <laughs> Do not abandon me, right? Don't go back to sleep. Do not separate, right? What happens in separation? What creates separation? Analyzing, right? Criticizing, comparing, judging. At the point that you start to evolve yourself, why go back to comparing yourself to others or comparing people to yourself or judging them or criticizing them? We're doing so well, right? Maybe our development does go like this, but we need a reminder, right? Don't go back to sleep. Try to stay, try to stay with the Aum, you know? Try to stay connected. You know, while we're evolving, you know, we make mistakes. We veer from the path, right? But we try to stay on the path. Eventually, it still moves, but it stays very close to the center. It learns how to dip into the center and use that for power. If, if uh, 2012 comes, the end of the world comes, does that mean like uh, controlling shares of the world will start to resonate like that? Then it will be more clear that you might be abandoning yourself, right? Or isolating yourself or doing something like that. When it becomes that clear to your mind, it means 90% of your mind is smart. Just that 5% is acting stupid, <laughs> right? You know? It's not stupid, it's just acting stupid. All it has to do is give up resistance, right? Stubbornness, uh, tenacity, holding on to what, for what, right? Why fighting? Right? Fighting for what? <laughs> So, make me indivisible. See, do not abandon me. It means do not split. Do not 